Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another try-on. I feel like it's a fresh new start. I don't think I filmed a try-on yet this year in 2019. So we're starting off the year with Walmart <laughs> because I just got an order in and I got a lot of affordable things and I'm really excited to show you guys. So as always, there will be a link in the YouTube video description box down below and that link will take you to my blog post where I'll have everything linked for you guys. I'm probably not gonna mention pricing on this one because I did that on my last Walmart try-on and pricing seems to change there often. Like they'll do sales and then they'll mark the things back up. So if I say something's a certain price and then it's changed, I'll feel bad. So I'm not going to say pricing, but everything is like super affordable, like mostly under 20 bucks. Let's get started. All right. So first up I'm wearing jeans and this fleece from Walmart. And I am so surprised by these jeans. I've tried jeggings from Walmart before and they've been great, but I really am surprised by the quality of these. They have distressing in them, which is so cute. And they actually have like a little piece of fabric underneath the distressing, which is so good for winter because if you're freezing and you want to wear distressed jeans, but you don't want your legs to freeze, then that's like the perfect situation. I'm just wearing regular Ugg boots right now because I wanted to put on a of shoes while I was up here and it's what I had. Walmart actually has a really great version of Uggs. I will link them for you guys. They go in and out of stock all the time. I've shown them to you a few times before. I have the chestnut color, but they also come in black. And then this is from Walmart too. It's the cutest little cropped fleece. So it's not super long as you can see. I'm about 5'8". So it's kind of cropped and oh, Real quick on the jeans, I want to say sizing. I'm wearing a size six. I'm normally like a size four, so go up a size in these because they're like, you know, jegging material. So they're stretchy, but I feel like they run a little small. So I would size up. And they have a really cute butt too. It kind of reminds me of the American Eagle jeans. Really cute. I love this design. Very cute. They're mid-rise, so they're not like super high-waisted. I'd say they're in the middle, which is really comfy. And they're just nice. Like, I'm really surprised at the quality of these, you guys. And I think when I bought them, I know I'm not going to say pricing, but they were under 20 bucks. I feel like they were like 16. And then the fleece was around that same price point too. Oh, I just noticed it has two things on the side if you want to tighten it up. See? I didn't notice that. That's cool. This is really cute and it actually is fleece on the inside too. A lot of fleeces sometimes don't have the same on the inside as the outside. This one does, so it's definitely warm. It has a hood and it's just unique. And it has like a little inside, this extra little lining right here, which makes it unique. And then this pocket in the front really makes it unique. It's like a little Velcro pocket. So, I mean, if you wanna put your phone in there, credit card, you know, snacks, a couple little snack bars, kinda cool. I feel like it's really different. And once again, it was insanely affordable. So I like it. I think the little pouch in the front is actually really cute. It kinda reminds me of like a Patagonia jacket. So cute. And I think they had maybe a couple colors. I'm not sure. I just got a size small, so my regular size, if you want more of an oversized fit, I would go up a size. I have just my regular size, like I said, and it's kind of fitted, but you can also tighten it up. So maybe if you went up a size, it'd be like the perfect fit. I kind of like it like this with the cropped fit. I think it's a way to wear like a fleece jacket, but not to look like a Michelin man. You know what I mean? I think it's really cute and it's really flattering for a fleece. So I really like these two. We'll go on to the next thing. All right, so on to the next item, which I am really excited about because I love the Sherpa trend, like all the comfy jackets, but I wanna still be able to wear it into spring. And this is like the perfect jacket for that because it's on the inside, it's more like a windbreaker material. And on the outside, it's like the Sherpa cozy, like almost like chenille kind of fabric. It's so so soft almost like I don't know like you're wearing a blanket it's incredible and it's a little bit oversized so you could still wear layers underneath it like if you wanted to still wear it in the winter you could with like a warm layer underneath it this is like the blush pink one I'm still wearing those first pair of jeans which are still incredible by the way I'm seriously in love with them but this is a size small so it has like a little bit of an oversized fit which I love so you can still fit layers underneath so it's kind of like that perfect transition jacket and this is the blush color I also got it in like the gray ivory. So I'm gonna show you guys that one next. This was literally under 20 bucks. So hopefully it still is. It's incredible. All right, here is the gray one. How cute is it, you guys? So comfy. This is amazing. I just am all about like the Sherpa, the cozy jackets. I, I just love them. I love winter time. I love, you know, still being able to wear those like comfy winter pieces like into spring when you're not ready for like spring break. Like I'm not ready for that. So this is like the perfect jacket to wear right now. Like I said, it still has like the kind of like, like a windbreaker inside. It has a drawstring I just noticed here too on the side. Perfect big pockets. It's like it's a perfect little spring kind of jacket that still keeps you cozy, you know? I love this thing. I hope they still have it in stock when I put this video live because it is so, so cute. 
All right, so we have another hit. I do have a couple misses coming up, like a couple things I did not like. But the material on this top, you guys, is amazing. It is so soft. I'm actually wearing kind of like a pink colored bra and you can't really see it, which is great. And look at the length. So you could rock this with leggings and I love the hem, how it's a little bit shorter in the front and longer in the back. And this material is like a modal, like almost, I don't know, it's amazing. You could do it like a little front knot too, probably like the perfect front tuck as well. I think it's Lord and Taylor brand. So it's like a little bit more of an expensive brand carried at Walmart. I don't know how much these were, but these are like the best long sleeve staples. You could wear into spring too, like right now and spring cause they're like lightweight and so soft. Like seriously, it's not like just cotton. There's definitely some modal or polyester or something in there that's making it like have this really nice hang to it. So we're in those same jeans. So great. I got it in black too. So I'm gonna show it to you guys in black. I don't have the best bra on right now, but you know, anyways, this is amazing. Such a good basic, obsessed with this. All right, so here is the black. You guys, this fabric just feels so good on your skin. Oh, I love it. Same thing, I have still the tag on this one. So comfy, like see how long it is? It's my first time trying these on and I'm obsessed with these. I'm definitely keeping these. They compare to like my Amazon. I got like Amazon Basics, that's the brand. And I got like some just plain long sleeves, but they were just like straight down, you know? So it was like kind of like tight on the jean, like the top area. And this is like loose and I love it because it's just like kind of breezy, you know? and you can wear it with leggings. I highly recommend these. I hope that these are still in stock. I'm actually gonna go look right now and see what they have them priced at right now so we can kind of know. All right, they're like 33 bucks right now and they're totally worth it. I feel like they're worth like 50 bucks. I feel like this fabric is gonna hold up and like stay for years. Like these are the best basic tees. Now I have just a pair of leggings on. So I wanted to get a pair of leggings from Walmart to see the quality. I don't believe in spending like 60 bucks on like performance leggings in my opinion. You can find the same exact material at like Target and Walmart. I know a lot of people like swear by like Lululemon and stuff. They're amazing, right? Like they do make your body look great. But not everyone has the budget for them, right? I, would, I actually don't even have a pair of Lululemon leggings, but I, I've heard that they're amazing. I need to try them. I think the most expensive leggings I have are Zella, which are great from Nordstrom, but they like are kind of too tight on my stomach where it feels like my ovaries are about to burst or I'm about to have an ovarian cyst. So <laughs> they don't always work for me, even though they're expensive. I kind of prefer my leggings to be a little more comfortable. These are from Walmart. You know, everyone thinks from Walmart and they are literally priced at nine bucks. They have like the ventilation on the sides, you know, where it's like kind of has that mesh vibe, which I see the style in a lot of leggings right now. And they're nice and high-waisted. And then what's kind of unique about these is they have like a little drawstring right here. So you can tighten that. You could even like tighten a little knot if you want, or you can just tuck it in if you don't want it to be seen. But I kind of like that because if you want them to be more performance, you can kind of pull it and like tighten it and tighten a knot. Or if you just want them to be like more like casual around the house and look like you're working out kind of leggings, you can do that too, which I like. <laughs> they're very pretty, high-waisted. They look like they do good things for the butt. And I like them, guys, they're $9. And I think they came in like a magenta color too. I just got my regular size small. They're great, they're really comfy. And I, I mean, I think they're really comparable to like a nicer pair of leggings. I don't know, I think that these are fine for working out. So I guess I'm just not like a, I haven't been converted to the Lululemon vibe yet. Maybe I'll try them someday and compare for you guys. But these are great, the quality seems good to me. So, I mean, I would say they're comparable to like Old Navy, Target, Zella too, cause Zella hurts my ovaries. So I don't like the Zella leggings. I must need to get a bigger size in them. That's probably what it is. So I just need to try like a medium in Zella and maybe I'll like them. They seem to run small to me, but these are really cute guys. So I want to share them and they're nine bucks. Freaking awesome. I love these. If you're trying to get a new pair of leggings to work out for the new year, but you don't want to spend a ton of money, these are great. Okay. So I got this vest to be like more of like a gym kind of workout vibe vest that I could wear like with this outfit, but I didn't realize that it has kind of like a sweater vibe on the side. So that's kind of odd. I don't know. I'm confused whether it's like active wear or like wear with jeans. You know what I mean? It's cute, but it wasn't what I was trying to buy, but it is cute. I got my regular size small, if it's true to size, has pockets on the side. I mean, it's cute if you're just wearing it with jeans. Like maybe I should try it with jeans and the white tee and then like a regular pair of booties. I was thinking it was just like a whole complete, like lightweight puffer for the gym or like, you know, running errands. But I mean, I guess it's still cute. I'm just kind of confused by the sweater material with the gym kind of vibe. You know what I mean? So I feel like with just jeans, it would be really cute, but I feel like it's weird with the leggings. Maybe that's just me, but this is kind of a miss for me because I thought that's what it was gonna be. So it's not like a miss when it comes to like quality and cuteness, because I think it's cute, but I was just was kind of expecting something different, but I wanted to show it to you guys anyways.
Okay, a couple more athletic tops. I got this one because I'd be cute with these leggings, which it really is, but I don't know if I'd really work out in it, you know? It's probably just more of like a wear around kind of thing. It has a little mesh here, so it kind of matches really good. It's like a really cute matching workout outfit, but I don't really work out in long sleeve tops. You know what I mean? I'm usually gonna be in a t-shirt or like a tank top. So I feel like this is more just like for running errands and it's, it's not the most comfortable. It's a little itchy. So this might be a, a miss for me, honestly. I like the vibe I was going for here. Like these leggings are a hit, but I feel like this is kind of a miss. So I'm gonna go on to the next. It's a little itchy, I'm not really loving it. All right, one more like active wear, athleisure kind of thing is this just little like crew neck sweater with thumb holes. I'm obsessed with thumb holes, but this is lightweight. Do you see the material on it? It's not like a thick sweatshirt. It's definitely more lightweight, which is kind of nice. And it has like the cuts on the side. So it kind of works perfectly with the leggings because they're high waisted. I thought this was gonna be a miss for a second when I saw it on the hanger because I was like, mm, I don't understand that because it's not very thick. So it doesn't feel like a sweatshirt, but it's kind of nice because it kind of has the sweatshirt look but it's not super hot, which is perfect for me living in Texas. So I kind of like it, especially with the thumb holes. And I'm pretty sure it was like under 10 bucks. So can't really beat that. And I think it came in more colors. It's a little bit of a cropped fit. So it looks cute with these leggings. And like I said, it has, you can't really see, but see how it has like the slit. And I think it came in more colors. So just a good basic. It's not like just a plain long sleeve. It's more of like a sweatshirt crew neck or like pullover looking vibe, but really cute for just momming around errands, stuff like that, looking like you're going to the gym, but not going to the gym. <laughs> Super cute with the leggings too. I have one more outfit to show you. It's more of like a everyday, like really pretty like blouse and then another pair of jeans. And then I think I'm done. So let me show you guys those. All right, I was wrong. I had one more thing to show you and it's this jacket. Now I had some weird reviews that I just read online. Okay, first of all, it's 32 bucks and it's not a super warm winter jacket. This to me is a spring jacket that you would wear just out and about like, you know, in spring after the freezing temperatures are gone. It's cute. I think it's just like a fashion-y kind of jacket. It does it have a hood? Yeah, it has like a rain kind of hood. Not rain, but you know, like a lightweight hood. It has like a little, it looks like it'd be a vest on the inside, but it's just like this part. Not like another layer. It just has that look, which I love. I feel like it's a really stylish look. So if you're looking for like a stylish jacket, that's not a lot of money. I feel like this is perfect. Has pockets right here. And then also the side pocket, which I really like having both options. And it's just kind of like a, um, like that kind of like material that makes that noise. You know what I mean? I think it's adorable. I feel like it'd be a good little like walking around Europe kind of jacket. You know what I mean? Like if you're wearing like a sweater under it, it looks chic. It looks really cute with leggings. I feel like it'd be really cute with a pair of hunter boots. So I like it, but don't expect it to be super warm. It's just like a spring kind of jacket and it's really cute. I got my size, regular size small, perfect fit. Definitely oversized enough that you can wear like stuff underneath it too. So let me show you the back. There you go, more of a detailed view of this guy. Lots of space with pockets too, because you have a pocket up here and then these two and then the side pockets, so. All right, my last thing, these jeans. I've showed you guys these jeans before in another wash and they're like $17 again. They're like a very comfortable jegging. I size up, I get the size six. They don't have pockets, whereas the other ones did, FYI. They come up a little bit higher and I like this part about them. The, the wash right here, I've always liked that. The pockets are just plain in the back and I size up to a six. I'm normally around a size four. They're a great pair of affordable jeggings that are perfect to tuck into any kind of boot because they're very form-fitting. So you can like, you know, you don't have a bunch of extra fabric when you're trying to squeeze them into boots. And then this I thought was just a cute little blouse for spring, like if you're looking for spring stuff already. And they had more colors in it. I feel like you could front tuck it easy too for like a cute little look like that. I didn't do a very good job, you know. Sometimes I fail at that on camera. But I really like the sleeves. I thought that was so cute. And then this part, how it matches. And I just got size small on this. So I would say it fits true to size. And it did come in more colors. But I thought it was really pretty. So these shirts are just like good basics for spring. I feel like obviously you can kind of see my skin through it. So I was kind of wondering like, are you gonna be able to see through it? How's that gonna work? Mm, you know, these kind of shirts you see through a little bit. So you can kind of see like the color of my skin. So if you don't like that, you can either tuck it in the front, which usually helps with that I find because you don't really see as much, you know what I mean? Or get a different color or wear like a white cami underneath it or a nude bra. My bra is a little bit pink today. So that would help with that too. Super cute though. And it was very, very affordable. And so were these jeans, like 17 bucks or something for the jeans.
I wanted to show you one more thing. I'm sorry, I forgot. I got this reversible tote and I'm confused, really confused because I thought I ordered one that had two browns, like a brown on the inside and a brown on the outside. And this one has blue on the inside. I mean, it was extremely affordable, like extremely, maybe like 19 bucks or less. But I think it's a miss for me, honestly. I got one kind of similar to it during winter time, but it was more like a velvet and it was just like the quality seemed a little better. Like this obviously isn't real leather, but it kind of looks like not the best to I don't know. It's it's all right. I mean, I don't know. I have one like this from Nordstrom and it was like 50 bucks. So if you're looking for something more like 30 and under, I think this could be a good option. I just am kind of thrown off because I don't like the blue on the inside. I would probably never really wear the blue. So it doesn't really give me the reversible feature. But if you pick one that has the right color, then it might be good for you. It does have the reversible pouch on the inside. Let me try to show you guys. See? Not reversible, removable, I meant. I, I think I'm gonna send this back though, to be honest, it's kind of flimsy for me. And I have bags like this that are leather, which I like a little bit better. But if you're looking to get the look for less and you don't wanna spend the money on a leather bag, that's kind of why I like to order these things and show you guys options. You know, you don't have to spend 150 bucks for the leather one. If you want to get the look for less, this is the look for less much less. So just thought I'd show that to you guys as an option. All right, so that's all for today, guys. I think next try on is actually gonna be a Nordstrom affordable. So it's gonna be everything under 50, I presume, I think. And then I have a lot of other ones planned for January. So stay tuned, more Amazon ones, a couple other retailers. So I'm very excited. If there's any retailer that you guys would like to see, leave it in the links down below and I might do that one next. Anyways, I make try on videos twice a week on this channel. And then I also do like a family vlog lifestyle video with my husband and our two kids. So if you guys like these kind of videos, definitely give this one a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can join our YouTube family here. We just got to 25,000 subscribers and it's a big milestone for me. I'm really excited about it. So thank you guys so much for watching and all your support and I'll see you in my next video. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be the heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind. Oh, oh, oh. Cause you will always be the